So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so before we start make sure you are signed to your cloud skills boost account and here we have to simply click on start lab so just follow as i'm doing and here you have to click on start lab and if you're getting this kind of captcha just fill the captcha carefully and just verify it now here we are doing just verification of the captcha click on the verify and finally the lab starts now you have to just open the cloud console incognito window now here if you're new to this channel do like the video and just subscribe the channel and if you are having any query you can let me in the comment section now click on i understand now here we have to activate the cloud shell first of all so just click on i agree agree and continue then simply click on this to activate the cloud shell now here just click on continue and authorize whenever it is asking click on continue click on authorize now let me increase the font size and now first of all you have to come to the task number one and we have to just set the environment variable so just paste it and hit enter now after that you have to just close the cloud shell and from here just open the vertex ci dashboard okay just open the vertex ci dashboard like this we have to enable all the recommended apis first of all so from here just enable all the recommended apis and once the api is successfully enabled you have to come to the chat vertex ai studio now here you have to paste the prompt from the lab instruction come over here to the lab instruction and here you can see this paste over here hit enter and here we have to update the model so as per the lab instruction it's 2.5 flash you have to come over here and just select it like this and if they update the model in future okay like this you have to just select all the models if they update it in future so you have to check from the lab instruction and just update it accordingly here you can sign uh, see multiple types of models over here so like this you can see and here as per the lab instruction we are selecting the one which is mentioned now after that you have to just check the score you can see we have got the score now come over here and simply click on the vertex ci after you click on the vertex ci just click on the workbench now here we have to open the jupyter lab over here so just click on wait for it open the jupyter lab over here now sometimes what happens we get some error the files are missing so in that case you have to click on this checkbox and on the top you can see reset option click on the reset option now here we have to just wait for it to get completed so just wait meanwhile do like the video subscribe the channel and hype the video So finally it is opened over here so just come over here and just click on the terminal option now here in the description box of this video i shared one github repository you have to just come over here and say uh, search for the github section in the description box now here we will be just coming over here let me show you select the entire contents like this and make sure you follow us on telegram and just subscribe our channel and join us on instagram also on twitter also if you have any query you can reach out over here so just paste it over here and hit enter and if you are unable to paste just right click and click on paste option and hit enter just of all sorry first of all now simply wait for this to change now you can see once it changes to seconds you have to just open it over here and the first thing you can see we have to wait for the kernel to get connected after that we'll run the commands one by one make sure you run each command one by one so after that let's come to the lab instruction first of all and here we have to update the project id so meanwhile the kernel is getting connected we have to update the project id you can see here also it is present and on the lab palette also it is present so you can just select it and just update it carefully paste over here and similarly just paste the region also update the region carefully once it is done 
you have to just run the first shell click on this play button to run it after that you have to restart the kernel just follow as I'm doing and you'll get full score on this lab without any issue now here all things are being done Now wait for the kernel to get restarted and after that we'll just set up the project ID and run each command one by one. So now you have to just select it and you can see this play button just run all the shells one by one and do not worry just follow as I'm doing. First thing we are setting up the project ID and then we are importing all the libraries and after that we'll create a function using the Gemini. Okay, so just run each one by one and here one more query I wanted to share that here you can see the model ID. So here you can just update the model ID as per the lab instruction. It gets updated sometimes. So you have to just replace the model whenever required. So this is the main thing because sometimes the lab solution is same, but the model ID gets updated or the file name. So like this, if you are getting any error also, do not worry. Just run the shells one by one and you'll surely get the score without any issue. And if you face any issue, you can comment down below and you can just reach out to me on my social media handle, including Telegram. Instagram or Twitter and LinkedIn also. So wait for it. And once you see this output, you have to come over here to the lab instructions. And at last, you have to simply check the score for all the tasks. And that's the way we have to complete the lab. Do like the video and subscribe the channel, guys. Do hype the video too. And if you have any queries, you can let me know in the comment section. Have a great day ahead. Thank you. Bye.